Hi everyone, today we are talking about Flow and Flow Builder. Flow is the kind of third automation tool and the latest automation tool um, as of today <laughs> that Salesforce has released. Um, it's probably the most powerful one, it's got the most options um, and it's going to be replacing Workflow and Process Builder. Now you can access Flow through the setup menu in Salesforce, just jump into setup enter flows into the quick find box and then you can create a new flow straight from there. Now a bit of terminology before we get started. If we talk about a flow interview, this is just a running instance of flow. Now when it comes to flow, there are three main building blocks that we talk about. So we're just gonna get started with the basics with these three main building blocks. The first building block of flow is what we call elements. And elements are those individual blocks in a flow. They perform logical actions. They're things like assigning users or decisions or loops. There are also data elements, which are going to do things like query the database or commit record changes. These are what we call elements in flow. Our next building block of any flow is connectors. And connectors are the arrows that connect all of our different elements and which determine kind of which element is going to lead to which. There's also an auto layout feature which allows you to connect the elements together automatically, um, which you don't have to do, which is fantastic. So um, all of those little arrows that you see there are what we call the connectors. So we have the elements, we have the connectors, and then our final building block of flow is what we call resources. And resources are the individual variables of data that can be used inside of flow. So these can be strings, they can be numbers, they can be records, they can be formulas, or they might be collections of records or collections of numbers. So these are the data, the pieces of individual data. So again, just to summarize those three basic building blocks of flow, we have elements, which are the logical actions. We have connectors, which are the arrows that connect everything together. And then we have resources, and resources are the data that we're going to be using and playing around with. That's a overview of what flow is, and we're going to be going into a bit more detail about the different aspects and tools, and all of the exciting things that you can do in flow coming up in our next videos. I'll see you there.